that you would know for a fact that it's running on ZOS. So here we are, we're, a very, we're trying to do new technology things, and we came to the realization that the number one thing we could do to show would be to run an ISPF application. Because there's no doubt, if I'm running an ISPF, <coughs> then I'm running on ZOS. You, there's no doubt, and, Z, and ISPF, I talked to the manager, it's 100% market penetration with, uh, with all the users. <laughs> so here we are, and we're gonna show the ISPF application in just a moment, it looks like 3.4, we're showing the three uh, portals for the three uh, um, cloud providers that we're talking about here. We have Microsoft, Azure, and we have uh, Amazon and Dropbox. So right now he's going into and looking at this test.txt file and opening it up, and it says right here, Microsoft Azure, welcome to ATT team. So that's the text that's in that file. He's then gonna go over to the Amazon portal for their web browser, and he's gonna do the same thing. We pick the same directories and the same file just to show you how simple it is. Here's S3, welcome to ATT. So he has three files. He's gonna finally go over to Dropbox. He's gonna open the file in the Dropbox portal and go into test.txt. And you see Dropbox, welcome to ATT team. Okay, so now you have those three files are out on the, on the cloud, in those cloud providers. Now here's our ISPF, kind of a 3.4-like application, where we're gonna first type in the files the first time through, and then we'll show you the list as you would be accustomed to it on ISPF 3.4. He's just gonna put the directory path and the actual file name here and say, I wanna go ahead and edit that file. So he goes in there and the, and the text is immediately pulled in, a REST API call was made out to that guy, and now he's gonna add a line here in edit, add a new line to the Azure file, and he's gonna save it. The file has been replaced, and now we're gonna go out to the portal in Azure and we're gonna look at test.txt, and there's the new line, it's been added right there. Okay, so it's just very easy to see it added uh, in, that, in that way. Now, what's the technology being used under the covers? Well, there's this thing that I happen to be the technical lead for, that I used to be the technical lead for, which is called the ZOS Client Web Enablement Toolkit, which actually uh, provides an easy REST interface to outbound from ZOS to REST, uh, other REST APIs. So now we're doing the exact same thing in, in Amazon. Now what's cool about this is you can't see the actual code in the ISPF application, which was written in Rex, uh, but the code, when I'm going to Azure versus going to Amazon, did not change at all, except the first parameter no longer says Azure, it says S3. There's no change in the code for the ISPF application. He just coded the same CDA read to read the file in and CDA write to write the file with no other changes. Now here in Dropbox, I'm using the list function and doing an edit like how you're used to doing it. You notice the vol here was kind of funny. It said Dropbox over there and it was kind of a humorous thing. So I'm adding a new line to Dropbox. Now we'll show you some other functions that it does very quickly. Um, so it's gonna save that, we're gonna go out to Dropbox. So what's cool about this is that the CDA code is the actual code that's differentiating between those three cloud providers, which have grossly different authentication models, have grossly different syntax, uh, and it handles it. So right now, uh, we're gonna go ahead, so you can see when you do a list, you can see how large the files are, how, when they were last modified, for example. I'm gonna actually now delete this file, I hit D next to it, and it's deleted right here, okay? So we just delete the file from the cloud. So this is weird. I'm looking at these, 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 these files are actually not on ZOS. They're running on there through cloud data access. Now, uh, we're also now just gonna create a brand new file just to show you that you can create it. So the idea here is not so much the ISPF application. Don't get so hung up with the ISPF application. Yeah, the ISPF application is cool, no doubt. But the idea is that those API calls that the ISPF are making are virtually identical with all those different cloud providers. Interesting, not interesting? Yeah. Okay. When it will be released. Okay, so, <laughs> great segue into our next thing. So you just showed you creating a new file. I'm gonna go ahead and, and get out of the demo now. Okay, 
So 